Hey, Cynthia, this is Todd. Hey, thanks so much for being a user of our platform. We really appreciate it. We're actually going to be talking to Cobalt Mortgage, I believe, in the next couple of weeks um, about uh, uh, integration. So would uh, love to have you on the feedback uh, committee when, when we get to do that. Let's see, looking at your current case, looks like you've got a situation where um, they've got a first and second mortgage now. And you're looking to, I'm assuming you want to pay off the old second mortgage um, with this new one. This is where I got a little confused. It looks like you're you know, keeping them. I can't imagine you could keep this existing second mortgage unless it's on a different property. Now, let me look back. Yeah, it says these are both your primary residence. So I'm, I'm logged as you now if you look at the screen here. So you've got a first mortgage to chase and a second mortgage to chase. It looks like you're doing a new one. Are, are you wanting to subordinate the existing one um, or, or not? Because at this point, it looks like you've got two. You've got a first and a second, and then you've got the existing second. So you would want to pay off. If you're going to subordinate, uh, then you would just leave the existing one in place, right? You wouldn't add a new one here. Um, I don't want to mess up your case, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, and while it says to send a starkey, I'm going to click a duplicate client. So now I just made a copy of that. So now I'm going to work. You'll see one here. It says copy. It says Todd's uh, edits. Okay? Then you can go in and look at this one. And client wishes to refine the first mortgage chase and reduce payment, take the monthly savings, apply the second line of credit. So my assumption here is that you don't want a new mortgage. You just want to subordinate uh, the existing. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make both of these blanked out. So you're just basically going to do uh, a little bit more borrowing than they have today. You're going to take uh, their current note of 93702. So you're, just, you're saying no, so I'm going to keep that. So I've just got a new first for 145 and 145. And then that makes our cash at closing look better. So they've got a positive about 6,091. If you want less than that, you would just reduce the uh, you know loan amount of here on the first mortgage. Now you've got a payment difference of positive 512 or 327. Uh, down here, I would start by you know showing this as repaying, um, and then you know you're taking the extra, and then and then I would use this as a fixed right here, because this is the way I would explain it, because it's going to be easier to explain to the client. You're spending 1764 now. You're going to continue to spend seven seventeen sixty four nineteen. See, this makes it easy if you're comparing ten years to show you're going to spend two eleven seven oh three in any one of these three situations, right? The question is, if you're going to spend seventeen sixty four a month, are you better off spending seventeen sixty four a month on your current mortgage and and second, or a new mortgage and second? Which of these is going to make the most sense to you? So by doing it that way and clicking on repaying, I can just see that all things being equal. They actually only have 246 months to go on their current debt, 225 on this and 225 on this. So in both of these here, they're paying off about two years sooner, and that's saving between 20, uh, saving around $24,800. I notice this says 20-year fixed. Yeah, 20-year fixed. Um, uh, so you know the net out basically is the same. That's interesting. The same interest rate, I guess different AM schedule, so your mortgage liabilities are going to be a little bit uh, uh, lower. Let's see, I want to check one other thing. Yeah, so your mortgage liability is the same because you're essentially paying the same payment in each of these scenarios. I just wanted to make sure everything's flowing through. It looks good. Now, what you had asked about originally in the email is, is there a way to apply this towards the second mortgage? Uh, we're, we're, we've got a future update here where we're going to actually have a drag and drop, where you can actually drag and drop the order of what's being paid off and everything. But you've only got two debts here. So I'm going to click Use Same as Borrow tab. That's going to bring everything over make it current. And I'm going to click, I want you to pick the lowest balance first, okay? By picking the lowest balance first, it's going to pay off, in this case, the HELOC first because that is your current uh, uh, low balance here. So here's your current right here. And then now if I look down below, you'll notice that over 10 years, um, this is this is paying off faster. So this is your um, it looks like your chase. Um, this is another reason when you do your liabilities, give them a little more descriptions because I can't really tell which is which. I can guess, but 
let me come back over here. Um, so it says creditor. You know, I like call this uh, Chase. Uh, I like to call it Chase First or something like that. Uh, that'll make it a little bit easier when you get into your reports because that stuff uh, fall, flows through. Uh, make it easier for you to see uh, which is which. So let me go back to the repay screen. Cool, so I can see the Chase First is here and here's the Chase Second. It's not paying it off, so they're paying a minimum payment. Here's their total liabilities. Now I come down below. I see here's my uh, new 30 year fixed right there and here's my chase second. See it's almost paid off at the end of, of 10 years. So I like to, if I'm close like that, I like to go ahead and on this one since I can do things totally independently here, I'll tweak them out a little bit and show hey, uh, you know, look this is uh, paid off now in 12 years and the mortgage is paid down to here after 12 years with the same payment up here you're still paying on the uh, HELOC. But to compare apples to apples, we have to show the same payment being paid. You're paying $17.64 here. Here you're paying $12.52 in mortgage payments, but you're going to pay the extra $5.12 monthly as a repayment. All right, and then where is that repayment going? This determines how it gets applied. We're applying it to the lowest balance first. Snowball just means that any extra debt you have is being applied towards other debts. So uh, I think this will work for you, and I'd come in here and put something like this. Uh, by refinancing this way, by refinancing and uh, sorry, still early, applying the extra payment toward your lowest balance, the HELOC is paid off in about 12 years and will save you over 20489 over 20489 you know, or whatever the number is for this particular that you want to illustrate at that time point. So otherwise this all looks good. I'm going to see if there's any little thing I can say to tweak here. Um, you've got origination fees, discount points up here. Um, if you did have any like escrows or you don't have any prepaid or anything you need to credit back. So you know if you take or if you you know they are walking away with six thousand dollars at closing too. So you're saving them that twenty thousand plus. You're putting the six thousand dollars in their pocket. So if you reduce that amount, that's going to increase their savings down here even more. Hope this helps, and have a great day.